Now, the online video game trash talking was a very big part of our lives growing up. Even to this day, every once in a while, I like to enjoy a good old trash talk. But the golden ages was back in the day, 10 years ago. Black Ops 1, Modern Warfare 2, when you, you're either bored and you choose violence that day or you just keep on losing the same gate at the the demon inside you just comes out you're so ugly the second your mom saw you when you were born she left you that's why you're over here i'm going to come to your house i'm going to raise up your mom and i'm going to be your stepfather and take away all your video game privileges what your grandma's so old her breast milk is powder milk this is just a tip of the iceberg i kept it very family friendly but have you ever had a situation where you actually trash talk someone pull up see what i will do to you i will smack you back to god and they actually pulled up and things got get awkward because the whole point of this is just online video game trash talking, just having a good time. No matter how bad the rage gets, I've never heard of anyone or seen any stories or known anyone who's actually had someone pull up at their house. But in this story, I have a guy, a 20-year-old gamer who plays Arch Age, who he got into an online beef with someone and he decided to th travel a thousand miles to go to their rival's house and confront the guy he had the rival with and try to unalive him because he was deeply hurt. The video game man accused of flying across the country in the middle of the night to attack online rival. Bro traveled a thousand miles to go to Florida to buy a hammer over there and a flashlight and just at 2 a.m. go behind him like fucking Undertaker. Ding. I don't know what kind of conversations happened between these two, but bro really took it to heart. Kang flew from New York Liberty International Airport to Jacksonville International Airport before arriving to the victim victim's house in early hours of Sunday morning, around 2 a.m. to be more clear. A swinging hammer he had picked up at a hardware store. So according to multiple news articles, they said that bro went, bought a hammer, bought a flashlight, and he was... He broke into the house, he unlocked the house, he went while the rival, the guy who was trash talking the whole time with his identity is not disclosed yet, was just playing a video game and he was like taking a break from, like on his chair, he was scrolling through TikTok and all of a sudden he saw Undertaker behind him without knowing who the fuck this guy is. He's like, do you remember me? I want to know what conversation happened. How, how the fuck did their conversation go in this situation? Hey, do you remember me? What the fuck are- What are you doing in my house? You, you- Wait, you don't remember me? No, who are you? Well, to refresh your memory, I'm Slasher Ding Dong 69. And to refresh your memory, you called my mom fat. <laughs> and the guy all confused at 2 a.m. scrolling through TikTok and watching like a random dude on his doorstep without knowing who he is. Police say that Kang became angry after playing the Arch game. The police investigation with Mr. Kang is truly a gold. 100% I have no doubt. Wh why were you trying to unalive him? I was just playing a video game, minding my own business. Then this guy came and said my ding dong is small. Personally, I couldn't let it slide. In the investigation, he said he apparently told his mom he was going to visit a friend in Florida before taking a flight and checking into a hotel. That is true dedication right there. Even if you're having spicy conversations with someone, like with a girl or a guy, I'm gonna do this to you from like all like different parts of the world but you're like if i see you if you were here i would do things to you but and these people don't actually meet up imagine how dedicated you gotta be to actually go get a flight check in into a hotel by that time usually the rage just dies down you're like bro okay fine it's just another day of a video game trash talk it's nothing new let's just move on with our life this guy did not let, let the rage go. I'm truly surprised how he stayed angry throughout the whole thing. Get a flight, go to a hotel, rest up, get a hammer, get a flashlight. Okay, I think it's time. The only explanation is he had the whole trash talk recorded and he kept on listening to it in repeat and he kept up the rage because I, I, I truly can't believe that someone can hold a grudge being angry from a video game trash talk the whole time. He was reportedly dressed black with a mask, gloves, and he approached the property in uh, the, the Florida. And this is a video Some of the sheriff. Make you say, hmm. Some things you just can't make up. Some things that make you say, what in the world was he thinking? And there are some things that make you say, you're not gonna believe this. Now, Mr. Sheriff, you look like you've never played a video game in your whole life. Maybe a couple of games of Clash of Clans, but you just decided to quit very, very soon. So you wouldn't possibly 
understand the online trash talk. Now, the police were called after this victim's stepfather woke up by the stepson screaming. This is the guy who was trash talking uh, Mr. Wang. When he went to see what was going on, he found his stepson on the ground struggling with the attacker who was in position of a hammer. So the stepfather thought it's just an average 2 a.m. night where the stepson is just screaming through a video game, but this was actually real life. The victim and his stepfather restrained Kang until the police arrived at the property where they found a significant amount of blood in the hallway. Although suffering from severe head injuries, the victim's condition is not said to be life-threatening. So bro, it's fine. It just took a couple of hits in the head with a hammer. Now, after all this dedication, lied to the mom, got a flight, booked a hotel, went, stayed there, bought all these things, all this time aside, all of this for you not to even finish the job? This is the perfect time for me to say skill issues it looks like he wasn't only bad at the video game at arch age would probably had hammer inside the game he was also bad with the hammer in real life <laughs> now kang meanwhile is facing attempted murder and burglary charges and being held at a county jail when the suspect was asked why did he do what he did the suspect stated that he is a bad person online he called my dog ugly and i couldn't let it slide so i had to go there and Teach him a lesson. Now, this is the best part. In addition, the suspect asked our deputy how much jail time I'm going to be doing for entering an assault. Like, like, what's going to happen now? Am I going to, like, serve, like, maybe community service, maybe six months jail, and I can go back to playing video games? The sheriff said, I would say, Mr. Kang, it's going to be a long time before you play video games again. The sheriff was cold with that. He would have made a really good trash talker, honestly, online, but... Pretty good closing line in this situation. This has to be one of the funniest stories that I've covered. Even funnier than the story that I covered about the villagers who got internet and they got, they got addicted to porn. So what did we learn from this whole story, this whole thing is... If someone calls you a poopy head online, it's not worth it to travel, get a hotel, go and try to unalive them for whatever the reasons just think of it this way if you take whatever people tell you on a video game seriously you are not going to be playing a video game for a very long time as well and the next time you decide to call someone's dog ugly just be careful watch your back at 2 a.m when you're still playing a video game because that person might just be behind you and I'm surprised since they were in Florida, like, the house didn't have any weapons inside to protect themselves in this situation. When you say Florida, like, I would expect, like, an AR-15 RPG in the house. Like, that's, like, the minimum you should pe Florida people have in their house. But anyways, I just thought this story was really funny. Just wanted to share it with you. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Take care of yourself. I'll catch you on the next one.